Last time we did Mighty Thor, we showed you the origin of War Thor. Yes, Volstag is a very angry individual when you take his breakfast away. There's a lot more to it than that, and you probably should just watch the video to find out. But if you don't care, Volstag is the War Thor, and this is how Mighty Thor is going to either stop or be disposed of by him. I hope you enjoy. When we last left off with Mighty Thor, the War Thor had come to bring war to the enemies of Asgard. Meanwhile, down in the depths of Mesfelheim, a storm begins to brew over the fiery land. The fire goblins look to the skies to see some strange liquid falling upon them. And one goblin says that he thinks he's heard of this before. He believes that they call it rain. Moments later, giant waves of water come crashing down through their city, and it is then marked as the first time in living memory that rain came to the Firelands. So much rain that the goblin nests were flooded, and with the rain came thunder, and with the thunder came Thor! Except this time. It wasn't the Thor that you've come to know and love, it was the War Thor. A Thor that holds a hammer not known in this land. A Thor who is here to kill everyone to bring back the vengeance of everyone that has been lost in war. Volstag is the War Thor. And Volstag walks out over the once burning lava, calling out to Cinder that there is a storm coming that will end all fire forever. Suddenly the ground shifts and as the rocks begin to part, Cinder appears before Volstag, telling him that she thinks not. The flames of Mesfelheim are the fires of creation and of death for him and his kind. Cinder charges at Volstag, the War Thor, forcing him to block, but the force from her knocks him away. Cinder lunges in, slamming her sword down on Volstag's hammer, stating that to be the Queen of Cinders, she had to learn to paint with fire. He will be her masterpiece. As Cinder opens up her mouth, a scorching wave of fire blasts into Volstag, knocking him to the ground, and his hammer into the lava. Volstag reaches for his weapon, and as he looks into the lava, all he can see are the faces of the children that he is here to protect. Before Volstag can grab the hammer, Cinder picks him up with her tail and holds him under the lava, shouting that he will have his lungs filled with lava. Volstag holds out his hand, and as he does, the ultimate Mjolnir shoots by into Cinder's back. Volstag pulls himself up, gasping for air, and then the fire-breathing sharks swim by, biting away at the god's body. The fire goblins run up, asking if they should fetch the invader's charred body. And Cinder laughs, telling him, no. We will let the sharks have their fun. But just before Cinder could continue talking, Volstag leaps from the lava, bashing Cinder with one of her own sharks. The goblins rush in to swarm over Volstag, and once he's held in place, Cinder swings her sword, ripping through both the goblins and Volstag. She picks Volstag up, stating that she will spread her fire oh so slowly over his body, roasting his tender flesh. His screams will turn to ash in his charred mouth. What does the little Thor say to that? The voice then calls out to Cinder, telling her that that isn't Thor. And some would say neither is she, now let him go. Jane floats down, holding the proper hammer of this universe. And Cinder tells her that she may call herself whatever she wants. All they are to her are unwelcomed guests in her realm. Jane then tells her, if that's so, let them both leave here and... But Volstag struggles, shouting that he isn't leaving until she pays for what she did. And Cinder says to Jane, see, he doesn't wish to leave. Jane throws her hammer down, bouncing it off the nearby goblins, and then punches Cinder to the ground, asking if what he says is not true. She attacked Nidalee and murdered children. Cinder gets back up, stating that no one has dared lay a hand on her since her father, and she will never lay hands on anything again once those hands are removed. Jane calls back to her hammer, telling her that she will find that rather difficult when she is filled with Ura. But before Jane can swing, Volstag stands up telling her, It is not your hammer that Cinder should fear! The fury of the dead universe rages within this hammer, and with it I will smite this entire realm into oblivion. To end this war, I must first end all of them. Death to the Fire Realm! The rock pillars begin to shake and crumble, and on one of them, a fire goblin child cries for its mother. As the young goblin is flung into the air, Jane catches him, telling him to be calm. This will all be over soon, hopefully. She then spins her hammer and opens up a portal, and in a blink of an eye, Volstag and her are teleported into nothingness. Volstag looks around, asking, What did you just do? And Jane tells him that her hammer transported them to the awning void, where he can do no more harm. Volstag then asks, You protect the demons of the Fire Realm? What sort of Thor are you? 
Rather than answer, Jane asks, what kind of Thor are you? You've terrorized innocent children in order to strike against their queen? That is not the way of Thor. Now stand aside. Volstagg shouts, that is why I am here. You are filled with nothing but words, and words will not end wars. Now stand aside, woman, or the war Thor will end you as well. As the two gods begin to clash, their thunderous blows can be heard ringing throughout the realms. Over the skies of Vanaheim, all the way over in Niflheim. And just as Volstagg gets ready to deliver the final blow to Jane, her hammer flies by hitting Volstagg in the back, loosening his grip on his hammer. From her defensive bubble, Jane reaches out to the otherworldly hammer, the ultimate universe hammer, stating that his storms are paltry, just like her grasp on sanity. She grips onto Volstagg's hammer and then calls back hers. Volstagg's eyes widen as he looks at Jane. Her eyes sparked with lightning and her body filled with rage. The very air around her, trembling. But before Jane can swing, she looks at the other Mjolnir, stating this should not be here. Volstagg then asks why she lifted it, and does she have the guts to truly bring the storm? The war will not be won with thunder, but with blood. Only the blood puts out the fire, and if she wishes to stop him, she must become the raging blood storm. Do you hear? The hammer swings, cracking Volstagg in the face, and Jane shouts, asking, Do you think that she does not understand a war? You should try battling cancer. With both hammers in hand, Jane slams the two together, and the realms see another streak of light. The force from the hit knocks Volstagg across the realms, all the way down to the dark fairy realm. Volstagg then begins to get up, looking around, stating that this is the birthplace of Melikath. This was no mere accident. She flies down, and Volstagg tells her that the hammer brought them here on purpose. His hammer knows that these dark elves must be punished, just like Cinder and her demons. They could do it together. They could end this war in a day. Jane begins to feel the power of the second hammer, stating that this hammer is angry, so untethered. All it wants her to do is rage. Volstagg shouts, then do it. Let the rage out. As Jane looks at the scared elf, she says no. She's seen his rage and all of its ugliness. They have enough wars and with that enough Mjolnirs. She throws the hammer into the sky, but Volstagg calls it back, stating, no, without rage, you would never truly be worthy of it. Lightning strikes down on Volstagg and he yells to let him show her how a real Thor makes war and say fare thee well to the dark fairy realm. The ground begins to shake and rip, sucking the elves into their cracks. And Jane shouts that they have to do better than this. Jane tries to hit Volstagg, but as he catches the hammer with his, he headbutts her, pushing her back. She yells, damn it all to hell. Who are you, you mad bastard? Why are you doing this? And Volstagg shouts that he is the god of the bloodstorm. He is the war Thor, and this is... And just then, a ram charges into Volstagg, and Odin's son looks down, stating, you are a great blundering fool and also a friend. Volstagg, lay down your hammer and end this madness. Jane looks at him. Volstagg? And Roslyn runs up stating that it is true. Volstagg is the war Thor. As Odinson and Volstagg begin to exchange blows, Jane says that it can't be possible. Volstagg is one of the kindest souls she's ever met. Roslyn goes on stating that Volstagg's eyes were open to the horrors of war. She's afraid that that's all he can see now. And Jane tells her no. He has forgotten himself. She knows how to win the War of Thors. And then a thunk can be heard as Jane's hammer hits the ground. She calls out to Volstagg in her human form, Jane Foster, telling him that she understands his anger and pain, but this is not the answer. Remember who you are. You are such a loving and merciful god. Volstagg tells her, I am War Thor. And if you come any closer, I will smash you just as I did Odin's son. She continues walking, stating that he is a devoted husband, loving father, esteemed senator of the Congress of Worlds, a friend. It's time for us to go home. Rosalind looks at Volstagg's hammer, asking what they should do with this. And Odinson yells out, telling them to return it to old Asgard. No one wants you here. Rosalind says that she's pretty sure it's a hammer and not a dog. This really isn't going to. But just then the hammer flies into the sky. And Rosalind says that she will never understand Thors and their hammers. Just as one war ends, another begins. And the War of Thors comes to a close, but it does mark the beginning of the War of the Realms. The forces of Vanaheim, Niflheim, and Heaven will stand ready to fight their battles as rocks on Cinder and Melikath all execute their attacks at the same time. It's time for us to come to the end of Jane Foster. And there you have it. We're growing closer to the end of Jane Foster as Mighty Thor. Don't forget to subscribe as we have more stories to bring to you, which I believe that there's one more filler before the death of Thor storyline. I'm a little lost as to what's happening because of the Marvel Legacy thing. So there's either we're either going to go to the death of Thor 
we're gonna go to another one before the death of, I don't know, Marvel Legacy is confusing as all hell, but if you subscribe to this channel, we'll help you keep track of what's going on. And you can find me on Twitter at Comic Story and on Instagram at Comic Story and sometimes over on Twitch where I speak my mind and tell you all the stuff that I can't say on this channel. Twitch.tv slash Eligible Monster. We like